What's up y'all, welcome back to the Super Capri Joe, or for the first time. I'm shooting this at night, so you're probably gonna see this in the morning, but my dopamine has been popping all night. So much news, well, like this whole week actually. All the Spider-Man 3 casting news. Tonight we had the Video Game Awards, that was actually pretty good. Last of Us Part 2 took home Game of the Year. Sephiroth is joining Smash Bros. That was awesome. Among Us is getting a new map next year. The highlights of tonight had to be the Disney Investor Day presentation. So many movies and shows were announced. We got a lot of info, a few trailers and sneak peeks. We're getting an origin story for Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Chris Evans will be voicing Buzz. A lot of Star Wars stuff, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Mix that up with Mandalorian talk probably next weekend. But the stuff I really wanted to run by y'all is all the Marvel news. For my friends and people unaware of like what's coming and just adding commentary to the news coverage on this platform. Now there's a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna try to run by it like really quickly. I'm not gonna talk about Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Chang chi or the internals until we get trailers or sneak peeks, but don't worry because there's so much more. This was all making me happy. Even though we're still in like a crappy period, I just saw Tom Lister Jr. from the Friday movies passed away today. Rest in peace. Someone in my community, I don't know personally, but I'll have a lot of mutual friends that do recently passed away because of COVID. They were the same age as me. Um, rest in peace, brother. And my condolences to your friends and family. So as I go through this list, I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description box so you guys can skip through the certain series that don't interest you. So first up, we have WandaVision. It's gonna be Scarlet Witch and Vision, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Bentley. It's looking like a sitcom, comedy, drama, and thriller. All the promotion so far has been really good. Tiana Paris is Monica Rambo, The little girl in the Captain Marvel movie, all grown up. Her character in the comics is really cool. All these shows have big budgets, and with how everything's going on with like the movies closed, all these Star Wars, Marvel shows, like getting these, you're it's like a movie but like they've like TVized it I don't know it's like a show but it still has that movie like aura about it this show is gonna have Kat Dennings from the Thor movies Randall Park from Ant-Man 2 Catherine Hahn she's gonna be playing a neighbor I don't know if Quicksilver is gonna be in the show I believe this is gonna tie into like the Doctor Strange movie possibly the Spider-Man 3 it's gonna be released January 15th all these shows are gonna be like six episodes I don't know how long this one actually looks really interesting and kind of similar to a movie called Black Bear that I recently just watched and I'm actually going to be uploading a review later. So what's a single girl like you doing rattling around this big house? Well, I assure this you, very I'm unique. This is man, very unique. A human one. One. Still dead though. So this is like her reality. We are an unusual couple. Oh, I don't think yeah. that was ever in question. Just don't know what to expect. She might bring him back to life. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Howdy, neighbors. Hey, buddy. Huh. Wanda, what's up? It's Monica. Who are you? I don't know. Oh, we see how it just changed. I think something's wrong here. That's the original cost. Wanda. Oh, this, this is. This is. Then let's fight for it. This is. I never forget from. This is crazy. That's crazy. Well, I think we handled that well. Wow. Yeah, so like, that's like, she's stuck in her own reality, but I don't know if like she's bringing other people in there too, like how does she know Monica? Because in the movies, like, they're like far in like the, to the future, like, they're like 2023, 20, I think. I don't know, that looks good, because it's just different. It might turn people off, people that are just used to like the generic, like, superhero stuff, but that looks good to me. Next, we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Anthony Mackie, Sebastian Stan. This can be like a buddy cop kind of thing, lethal weapon, comes out March 19th. We haven't really seen anything for this, except like the Super Bowl stuff. It's gonna be taking place after Endgame. Daniel Brühl is gonna be Baron Zemo from Civil War. George St. Pierre is playing Petroc the Leaper from the Winter Soldier movie. And we have Wyatt Russell, Overlord, Ingrid Goes West, 22 Jump Street. He's gonna be playing the US agent. That's gonna be like a fake ass Captain America. And they recently just revealed um, Flag Smasher as another villain. So these villains are really grounded and I like that. But let's check this one out. Legacy of that shield is complicated. Mm -hmm. Now he doesn't have to be like a he doesn't have to copy, he can still be himself. Like it's just he has a shield. 
I don't want people to think, oh, he's going to be the next Captain America. He's just so side down. Dude, this looks like a movie. <laughs> Disney. I like the font style too. Good. Baron Zemo. I need the symbol. Asian, US Asian. Bro, this looks good. Bro, this is this is like a movie. That was like a dodge to what your soldier would use to play. No plan. Right. He just left your ass. Like this. Come on now. It's hot. That's hot. That's hot. What's going on in that cyborg brain of yours? You don't want to know. Oh, yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. They're on fire. <laughs> So this could be like a buddy cop kind of thing. Lethal weapon. In Civil War, they're bickering back and forth was funny. It's, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. How, even with like the Mandalorian, like these are shows, but like they look better than the movies. Jeez. Now the only thing is like everyone's like, oh my god, he's, he shouldn't be Captain America. He should, should have went to Bucky, blah, blah, blah. He's not trying to be Captain America. In the comic books, they're both Captain America at some point. I think this is this legit like Falcon. I think, I don't even think the shield's gonna be like, part of the show that much. They come up every once in a while, but damn. On to Loki, Tom Hiddleston. This is a very interesting one. One. I beg to God everyone has seen Endgame. During that movie, different timeline, Loki was able to get away. This is gonna be like a time travel thing. I don't know if it's gonna be serious or comedy. He's gonna work his way back into like the movies, but we'll see. Owen Wilson, Gugu, Mbati Ra, and Sasha Lane. This one comes out in May 2021. Same month, Black Widow's supposed to release. They pushed out a full year. I don't know what the theater situation is gonna be next year. That's happened in Endgame. This was like, <laughs> this was an irritating scene too. And then Hulk. And he said, peace out. And then, and then we all, we, we all thought he was gonna come and save the day or something. And then gave but like, no, he, he wanted to go get his own show. Oh shit, yep, time travel, he's gonna go in like different like eras and stuff. I like that. What the hell is this? You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Oh, and we'll... like to talk. what? What? You do like to lie, which you just... I've never seen him like that. He's always had like the blonde hair. You. have you been here? Who is it? I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. Oh, I just noticed that, that logo. I like this music, too. Glorious. What's going on? Huh, this is oh. Is that Yo I'm down. Did it to be ready? Did it say did you say have climbed down? Yo. <laughs> yep. Come on. What did you expect? 
Bro, <laughs> they are killing it, man. Wow. Okay, so I, I don't know if these are like comic book characters, the, that group, but we got Heimdall, so Idris Elba, he would be back alive because it's before Endgame, that, like, the time he left, so. I actually like that more than the first two trailers I watched. Did we see Black Widow in there? That would be interesting because they both come out in the same month, but damn. Next, we have a What If series. So this is not canon. Again, this, the, the title is like What If Stories. So it's like, what if Peggy Carter became Captain America? Is it like, what if Captain America was Iron Man? What if Black Panther was Star-Lord, etc.? It's gonna be like an animated series. The Watcher is gonna be voiced by Jeffrey Wright. This is gonna be a little cool thing. It's gonna be like an Elseworlds multiverse kind of thing. I like this anime. It's a cool animation. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, see. This is like a. It's for. It's like. It's like a fan service kind of thing. How it's stuck. Peggy. Captain Britain. You have a super soldier. Cool. You sure don't seem too freaked out about all this, kid. That's cool. Who's that? What you doing out there all by yourself anyway? Exploding the world. Sounds <laughs> fun. Why stop at one world when we can show you all of them? See, this is this is this is cool. I am the watcher. And the back and the visuals look nice. At first, I thought they like, died through these I, vast new realities. Animate like, like follow me. No, no, this this looks good. This looks cool. This looks like an updated version for like the uh, the old. The, um, that MTV series for the animated Spider-Man series. I only had a couple episodes that got canceled. That's cool. And that was Jeffrey Ray talking the whole time. That's cool. That looks cool. The visuals look nice. When they first announced it back a while ago, I thought they were gonna like it was gonna be like live action, but I'm fine with animation. That's okay. That looks cool. And again, that reminded me of the old like animated Spider-Man series. That animation, probably other shows like that, but I probably haven't seen them. Miss Marvel just started filming Kamala Khan, first Muslim character to get her first solo series in 2014. She's an Inhuman, super fan of Captain Marvel. Been getting her shine on. She was main character for the Avengers video game. They're shooting in Atlanta right now. Amon Vellani is from. Ontario, Canada. It's also gonna be in Captain Marvel 2. I don't know if Free Larson is gonna show up in the show. There's a sizzle reel, but like I don't think there's any footage. It looks like it's gonna be like a bigger budget Disney kids show. So I don't know how people are gonna feel about that. Also filming right now is the Hawkeye series. Jeremy Renner's back. I don't know if he's gonna be a Hawkeye or Ronan. We have Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. She's not Hawkeye's daughter. I know a lot of people get that confused, but she's not. She's part of the Young Avengers. Sarah Farmiga is gonna be playing her mother. The show's gonna have that feel of the father-daughter kind of bonding. Again, but she's not his daughter. A sidekick mentor kind of vibe. That's gonna be a late 2021 release. She Hulk, Tatiana Masolani, it's Canadian Emmy winner. She was an orphan black. I actually can't wait to see this in live action. She's cousins with the Hulk. Mark Ruffalo is supposed to appear, and so is Tim Roth as Abomination from the 2008 film. I actually like that movie. Moon Knight, Oscar Isaac. This hero is kind of like Batman. He has like an identity crisis. He gets superpowers on the full moon. Oscar Isaac is getting a lot of roles. I think they just announced he's also gonna be playing Metal Gear. They're just giving this man roles. I can't wait to see him in Doom. Blade is still like not that much info, but it's gonna be Marshall Ali. I'm really excited for that. There's gonna be a Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. James Gunn is gonna direct and write that. There's also gonna be like a, an animated series called I Am Groot. I think those are gonna be like little skits. That'd be cool. Armored Wars. Don Cheeto returns as a war machine. I'm assuming he's gonna go up against like other like armored villains. Justin Hammer from Iron Man 2. Sam Rockwell might return. Secret Invasion. This is the spin-off show or movie like everyone was 
speculating Nick Fury was gonna get his own thing and this is gonna be it. I kind of wish this was gonna be like a actual like big movie, like Secret Invasion, Secret Wars. Again, I can't hate what they're doing. I'm just interested to see how this all plays out. Ben Mendelsohn is gonna be Return Us Talos. We're gonna have the scrolls. We got some more black representation. We got Riri Williams coming to the screen. Ironheart, she's gonna be played by Dominique Thorne. She's a young black girl, super genius, has her own Iron Man suit with her own modifications. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. That's gonna be the third movie. Everyone's back from the previous one. I didn't like the second movie that much. It was just felt filler, you know, until like the post credit scenes. But the big news with this is Jonathan Majors is gonna be the next big bad Kang the Conqueror, one of the Avengers' most powerful foes in the comic books. Guaranteed none of my friends have heard of him. This history is a little confusing. I'm sure they'll simplify it in the movie. Everyone was like, oh, well, Thanos gone. Like, who's like the next big bad? Like, what's their biggest threat? They still haven't even introduced Galactus, Modoc. They still have to get the X-Men in there. Fantastic Four, which we're getting. Finally, it's gonna be directed by John Watts, the guy who directed all the new Spider-Man movies and currently directing the Spider-Man 3 film. For Love and Thunder, Chris Hemsworth's back. I don't know if he'll still be in the same shape he was in the end game. I think the main focus of the movie is that Natalie Portman is coming back and she's gonna be Lady Thor. I know everyone was like, oh, why are they always I like making girls, blah, blah, blah. This was in the comic book, guys. This is this is cool stuff. Christian Bale, he was revealed to be part of the movie a while ago, but it was just, we didn't know who he was. It's revealed that he is Gore the God Butcher, very powerful villain. He's basically a god killer, very dangerous. His character design like looks really weird, so I don't know what he's gonna look like live action. I think they got him more for the voice. Still cool to have Christian Bale. I believe the Guardians of the Galaxy are also gonna be somewhat a part of it. I don't know how much. Aika Watiti is gonna redirect. He said he wants to make this the biggest Thor movie, even bigger than Ragnarok, so I'm excited for that. And then the last news is Black Panther 2 is coming. Kevin Feige revealed that Chadwick Boseman, who recently passed away, I'm still sad about that. He's not gonna be replaced. Everyone's like scrambling their brain, like figure out what's gonna happen. Should they replace him? Should they bring Michael B. Jordan back and like make him a good guy? Or Letitia Wright play Shiri to like take over the mantle? I, I honestly, I would not know what to do if I was in a situation. Ryan Coogler will direct and that's gonna be coming at most likely like 2022. But that's the rundown. That's all the Marvel news coming. What are you most excited for? Leave a comment down below. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my channel for other content. Be kind of one another. Take care of yourselves inside and out. And I will see you guys next time. The legend will never die.